Hello, and welcome to Mr. Henry's Music World. Thank you so much for visiting. Today, we are going to learn about the musical alphabet and lines and spaces on the staff. Let's get it going! Hey there, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Understanding the lines and spaces on the staff is essential in learning how to read music. Let's roll the video! The Musical Alphabet Before we get to the Musical Alphabet, let's talk about the English Alphabet. Of course, we have 26 different letters. We use a combination of these letters to make the words like M-U-S-I-C. Hmm, what's that spell? All right, music! With our English Alphabet, we can make a zillion words which are found in the dictionary. With all of these words from the English Dictionary, we then create sentences. You know, like my most favorite sentence of all, I love playing the piano. With these sentences, we piece together paragraphs, and voila, we have books that tell stories. Very cool. The musical alphabet kind of works like the English alphabet, except we only have seven letters in the music alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Instead of making sentences, we make melodies and harmonies with the music alphabet called a musical phrase. And with these musical phrases, we then can create an entire piece of music. When speaking about the musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, we must introduce the music staff. The staff in music... Huh? Well, wait, wait a minute. No, no, no. Not a staff that helps you climb a mountain. But the music staff. Five lines and four spaces. But speaking of climbing mountains, notice how the mountain climber starts low on the mountain and then climbs high and then back down low. The music staff is a lot like a mountain. It has low and high points where music notes can hang out. The staff has five lines. The first line starts at the bottom or low part of the staff and works its way up. One, two, three, four, and five. The staff also makes up four spaces, starting with space one on the bottom and slowly working its way up. Remember when we said the treble clef had magic powers and can tell us which hand to perform? Well, the treble clef is added again and using its magic powers to assign a different letter from our music alphabet to each line. The line letters are E, G, B, D, and F. So every time you see the treble clef on the staff, the lines will be E, G, B, D, and F. Memorizing the order of these notes can be hard, but there's an easy way to help us remember the letters of the treble clef lines. We can assign a word to each letter, like empty garbage before dad flips. Yeah, that's right. Empty garbage before dad flips. Oh boy, that looks like a bunch of trash. You better empty the garbage before dad flips. Yikes. Yeah. Again, the treble clef will use its magical powers and assign a letter to each space found on the staff. Here he gives the spaces the letters F, a, C, and E. Hey, that spells the word face. The music notes on the spaces, as mentioned before, spells the word face. So we do not need a saying to help us remember the letters on the spaces. Just remember face on the space and you'll be good to go. Music notes love to hang out on the staff, and when they do, they each get a different letter from the musical alphabet, kind of like a name tag. Since the treble clef is in charge, the first name is an F. The next note is G, and the last note is E. Let's take a closer look at how I assign a letter name to a note. Here, this note falls on the second space, as you can see, the note head is in between the lines. Since we use the word F-A-C-E 
face on the spaces, you can easily see that this note is an A. Very cool! We do have another clef when playing the piano, the bass clef. Oh boy, if the bass clef is in charge and casts its bell on the lines and spaces, the notes will be different. The line letters are G, B, D, F, and A. So every time you see the bass clef on the staff, the lines will be G, B, D, F, and A. Let's take a closer look at the notes on the lines with the bass clef. Remember, the lines on the bass clef are different than the treble clef. There is an easy way to help us remember the line letters of the bass clef. We assign the words, good boys do fine always. The bass clef will also use its magical powers to assign a letter to each space found on the staff. Here we give the spaces the letter A, C, E, and G. This one may be a little hard to memorize the order, so let's see if there's an easy way to remember. When we look at the notes on the spaces in bass clef, we have another saying to help us remember the letters. We can use the saying, all cows eat grass, which is true. All cows do eat grass, sweet. Okay, let's look at something really important. Let's look at these music notes again on the staff. Remember, when the treble clef was in charge, the music notes were F, G, and E. But if the bass clef is in charge, the music notes will change and turn into A, B, and G. Let's dive deeper to figure this out. Remember when we looked at the treble clef note on the second space? We figured out it was an A note because we used the word face, F-A-C-E. Okay, well guess what? If we use the bass clef instead, the second space note changes. It is no longer an A note. Let's check out which letter name we would assign the second space note if the bass clef is in charge. Remember, we use the saying, all cows eat grass. Since the second space word is cows, which starts with the letter C, then the second space note name is C. Boy, this sure is a lot of info. How to remember it all? No worries. We will be working on this throughout the entire course, and you'll be good to go. Sometimes people call music the universal language, which is a fancy schmancy way of saying that no matter where you are in the world, no matter what language you speak or write, the combination of music notes, symbols, and music alphabet is the same for everyone, which really is pretty cool. Let's review. The music alphabet has seven letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The order of the treble clef lines are E, G, B, D, and F, the spaces are F, A, C, E. The order for the bass clef lines is G, B, D, F, and A, and the order of the bass clef spaces are A, C, E, and G. Awesome! To test your understanding of the lines and spaces, download the note naming test Turn out and complete. Join the Join Mr. The Henry's Henry Music, Music World, World Facebook, Facebook page. page. <laughs> Gee, that's a pretty long title. I gotta work on that. But anyway, if you join the Facebook group, you can take a picture of your work, post it on the Facebook page, and get feedback from the community on how you did. Please subscribe as more videos will be posted to help you in your music journey and ring-a-ling-a-ding-dong that bell so you know when the next video is out. Thank you so much. I'm Mr. Henry. Keep on practicing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.